Many years ago, when I drove into this city, there was a particular park not too far from here that I would go and stop. I would land there and then go to a restaurant that was close by there and eat before I now start exploring all the things that brought me. And I did that with joy because I knew that one day will be a, a story. Let me tell you something that happened. When we were graduating the School of Ministry students, the last set, so I needed to have a snapshot with them. And then they drove me around to come in and I passed that area and I just looked and I nodded my head. I remember the features there and I said, goodness, this life, somebody you need to pray, fix me. So that your tomorrow will not be angry that you wasted your today. Let the 10 year old version of you, look at me. I taught something years ago in Zaria and I told them, I said, the 10 year version of you, 10 years before now, if he looks at you now, will he say, this was a person I wanted to become? Or will he say you wasted the gift of time? Don't let the, ten, the next 10 years of your life look like the same. Because you keep giving excuses. My voice is not very nice. That's why I'm not singing well. You are unserious. Then write a good song and let those with good voices sing and give credit to you. I didn't have time to prepare my sermon for the teachings because I, I teach on Sunday and I teach midweek service. You know it's not easy. Respectfully speaking, flimsy excuse. Go and find out those who preach five to ten sermons in a week. And they have been doing that for many, 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 many years. I'm lazy spiritually now because I have children. No. 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 I'm not a giver now because times are hard. I used to go and buy books and invest in myself. But now I don't do so much. No. God is speaking to you because we are going to pray. And there is a grace that I pray to God for that will come upon you. Honestly speaking. The gift of a man. When God taught me this, it changed my life. I made up my mind that I will love God with all my heart. But my generation will never look at me as a non-entity. It's not pride. It's the truth. The secret is this. I found your word and I did eat it. I made up my mind that there is nowhere across this globe. I will not enter any circle where I'll be intimidated. I can be challenged for good. I can be provoked onto a greater sense. But not that I get somewhere and look at myself and feel miserable. No. I told myself that that dimension of shame I will end it forever there are places I enter today there are people I meet today that I consider it an honorable privilege to sit with them shake hands with them talk with them kings presidents of nations I don't take it for granted but can I tell you it is not as a valueless person that I sit there. It is not as a necessary luggage I'm carried there. It's with honor and gallancy to also contribute to their lives. This is what God is training you to become. So that you are like a battle axe. Whether you stand before kings and presidents and nobles, you will honor them as touching what they represent, but not to the detriment of your value. Hallelujah. If I may not have the kind of intellectual soundness you want, there is an anointing that can do something in your life. If I may not have the vocal skills that you want, I can pray and I have a covenant with God and he will come on your behalf. My question for you as we prepare to pray is what is that rod in your hand there is a rod you have neglected while admiring others there is an anointing that has been hovering around your destiny waiting for your value waiting for you to build yourself listen to me the reward system in this kingdom answers to value you are a doctor 
rise to a level where you become an exceptional one and trust the God who announces men to announce you. You are a preacher, not for the sake of competition, but ladies and gentlemen, make a covenant with yourself and your destiny that no man will give you access to his pulpit. And while you stand and you are preaching, they are discussing among themselves. Let this be the last time this man returns here because he ended up wasting our time, wasting the time of our partners, wasting the time of all those who love this ministry. No, no excuses, no excuses, no excuses, no excuses, no excuses train yourself build yourself cry but train yourself cry but pray cry but go for trainings some of you after tonight you should go online and look for programs that you can do even if it's two week one month two month programs that can help to file your understanding or informally educate yourself there are materials online everything you are looking for you can find if you search with patience and with humility and determination let those who have results speak to you and mentor you and help you and build you. Hallelujah. Make up your mind that God will be able to trust you with the nations and you will not be a disappointment because of the excellency of your preparedness.